Hey guys, Katie here. So today is going to be another addition to my Makeup in Minutes series, and this is going to be a high school makeup tutorial using only drugstore products. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Branded, and I'm going to be applying this all over my lid as a base and primer, and it just gives a nice little shimmery kind of wash of color to your, your lid. And then I'm going to be using this NYC palette, taking this uh, beige shimmery champagne color and applying it all over the lid just where I placed that barely branded and then I'm taking that peach color and applying that in the crease it just kinda gives a little bit of definition not a lot but um, it's a really pretty color and next from the same palette I'm just going to be taking that dark brown shadow and applying it to the upper lash line and then I'm just going to focus it kinda of in the outer corner as well not into the crease or anything like that we're trying to stay pretty natural looking here for the most part but I'm just gonna blend that all out so it is not too harsh in order to make your lashes look a little bit more full and dark, you can actually tight line your upper lash line. And I'm using this L'Oreal Humongous like Jumbo Eyeliner thingy. I'll list all the products down below. And I'm just tight lining my upper lash line, curling my eyelashes, and applying my favorite mascara, which is the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. This is awesome. I have been loving this lately. And um, yeah, you can see why. And next, I'm just taking this NYX gray eyeliner and lining the outer corner of my waterline. And now we're going to take the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. I just recently got this, and I really like it. It's, it's a nice BB cream. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face and just kind of blend it up into my hairline. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is my favorite concealer right now for just anything on the face that needs to be concealed and erased. And so I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes and blend it out, and then also go back in and apply some with my fingertips for sanitary reasons to the blemishes that I have left on my face as well as any redness I have around my nose. And I always seem to do my makeup out of order which is really weird but I'm actually starting in my brows now and just kind of defining them and filling them in with this brow pencil by NYX and then I'm going to set my whole face with the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. Our children come. And after setting my under eyes with that same powder, I'm just going to go in with a white eyeliner and kind of define those inner corners and brighten them a little bit. I do this step last, I don't know why. And then I also actually apply mascara to my lower lashes last. And I'm also going to apply some blush to the apples of my cheeks. I'm using an e.l.f. blush from a bronzer and blush duo. And then I'm going to take my favorite lipstick of all time. It's Coral Gleam by Maybelline. And apply this very lightly to my lips to kind of give them a nice little shimmery flush of color, I guess. And last but not least, we're going to set our whole face with the e.l.f. Um, setting spray. And that is the finished look. I'm just kind of braiding my hair. It's a simple look you could do for school if you're in a rush. So, yeah. My hair is now braided and I'm going to pull it out to make it look messy. And that is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed. Oh.